Ready? It's not there yet. There it is. Okay. Hey, what's up, everybody? October 15th, 2020. 2020. 16 more days to the old classic Halloweener. The Halloweener. Mm -hmm. It's a hollowed wiener. Uh -huh. You know, not to be pro not to be in interpreted any other provo provocative way or, uh -huh. or uh, you know, uh -huh. innuendo, but uh -huh. um, it is what it is. Hollowed. Yeah. Hollowed means holy. Holy. Hollowed means holy. Uh -huh. Holy wiener. Right? Oh, that's what that's what the other side says. But anyway. Anyways. Um, we How's it going we don't. Today, well, I'll tell you how it's going. Huh? It's cold. I got on shorts. And um, I got it's, shorts too. we're over here in Pomona, California. Uh -huh. And yeah, well, you're pushing. I'm sitting here. Got I'm, my coffee. I'm freezing my butt off. He's freezing his butt off. Uh -huh. He's got his water here. We're ready to go. Ready to make a little vlog. Right now, my voice is reverberating rever because we're on a uneven, bumpy, bumpy train. Yeah, a bumpy trail. Um, and um, the other day we were talking about. Shut up, pumpkin. Hey, shut up, a pumpkin. Pumpkin's my dog. That's where we, we live. The back house is uh -huh. where we live. The back house is. Uh huh. And um, the other day we were talking, me and Axel, so we we're saying how lucky we are to be living in this great country. We are. Even if you were the poorest person in Los Angeles or San Francisco, living in a tent on the corner of um, Castro Avenue or, or Skid Row, you would still be very lucky. You would have the accessibility to food, water, and clothing. Mm -hmm. People come by and they give you food, water, and clothing, and you, mm -hmm. you're in the city, mm -hmm. And you know, if you were happy to freeze to death, I mean, your body would be picked up and buried somewhere. Yeah, exactly, in a plot, potter's field or something. Uh -huh. So it's not like you're totally abandoned. Exactly. Um, because the thing is, in like Middle Eastern countries, they don't, you don't get that luxury, man. No. And even if you're if you're homeless, you get like a gun pointed at you and fire, and you leave your body there. Yeah, exactly. And um, so we, that's what we were talking about. I mean, geez, okay. Maybe I was a little extreme. No, not really. Because no matter what, no matter how you slice it, even though America has its problems, America's one of the best countries, if not the best country in the world. And every, every it might be prejudiced, mm -hmm. but I am. That's the, that's the truth. That's what I firmly believe in. Yeah. Because no matter how anyone abuses the power here, we still at least have the idea. We have more rights than the rest of the world because we do. That's true, and we're fighting for more rights every day. I guess, yeah. You have the right. You have the right to make your life better mm -hmm. or worse. That is your right. You got the right to get up in the morning and go to work, mm -hmm. or get up in the morning and not go to work. Exactly. You have the right to starve, and you and you have the right to make yourself an egg sandwich in the morning. Mm -hmm. And we choose to make ourselves an egg sandwich in the morning uh -huh. or eat cereal which the little guy has to do every other day uh -huh. um but uh that is the right that we have in this great great country of ours whether it's every country has their their good things and their bad things and i, be, I believe you me we have our share of bad uh, don't you know me. yeah don't get me started on that yeah don't you don't want to get talking about the bad today yeah, we're not we're we're talking just, about the good you have the opportunity to make whatever you want to make yourself on this right. country Gotta take a water break for the midget man. Ah, uh, and yourself, uh, huh? Break yourself. Oh yeah, I'm breaked. Anyway, cause um, you know, in in this country, you still have the, you still have people unionizing, which um, I don't feel you have to have a union anymore. But um, I mean that's not for me to say. Those days, I feel like they were fought for. And you know, hey, we have the right to be a union or not to be a union, and and uh, but uh, laws have um, laws have replaced the regular um, unions. Um, and you have the right to standardized pay. Yeah, which is which is better than a lot of other countries because they can pay you whatever yeah. you feel like it. Because this is a capitalistic country, um, and our country depends on the ability to, to make money. money. Yeah. To make money, so you know, if you make money. You're, you don't you have, have to spend money. Yeah, and you have to be allowed to be be able to make some money also. But uh, that's where entrepreneur, that's where the entrepreneur 
comes in. I didn't pronounce it correctly. Yeah, entrepreneur comes in. You know, and, and if you can't do it in one way, you do it another way, you know? Exactly. Well, but that's, you can do it one way, you can do it another you can do way. Do it any way you want, man. You know, you can, there's millions and millions of things to do. Oh, and this brings me to another thing about the controversy about people saying that um, um, this country was made up of immigrants, et cetera, et cetera. Um, no, it really wasn't. Um, this country was made up by theft, bribery, thievery, and um, any kind of conniving that you can do. Okay, that's the American way. Uh -huh. And you can't uh, have it any other way? No, I mean, that's the American way. It's, exactly. it's money. It's a money-oriented mon country. Uh -huh. um, somebody else owns the land, and you want to encroach on it, or you believe that going westward is going to be your ultimate goal, mm -hmm. then the government goes westward, and they could care less about who was ever in control of that exactly. that that um, property, whether it be the... Mexicanos in Texas, Arizona, and Colorado, whatever, and California, and this, and the Indians, they don't, they could care less, and they did care less. So, and but that's a whole total new topic, too. No, but, no, but that, then it goes back to, I mean, that's not America's original idea. They, they wanted to expand they, no, they, westward. They used the same idea that the British used. Don't get me started on the British. Yeah, they wanted to colonize everything. The British, you know. people always, like, are starting to, like, forgive the British. But they won't forgive slavery of them in America. Isn't that funny? They forgive the Brit the British for them. I'll, I'll I know, tell you. I know. I know. The British were the worst people. No, I'll tell you who the worst people were. I'll tell you who the worst person was. Huh. Leopold, King Leopold of Belgium. He was the worst person. And unfortunately, but fortunately, anyway, I'm not going to go in that direction. <laughs> King Leopold um, went into the Congo in Africa and decided to make it his private backyard. Uh -huh. And. Um, he didn't even do it for his country. He did it for his own self. He, he did, um, you know, he, he killed the elephants for their ivory. He made the um, natives work for the rubber mm -hmm. to get the rubber from the rubber tree plants. If they did not meet production quotas, they he would cut off the limbs of, of the men or, or of the men's children or of the men's wives, mm -hmm. and he would mutilate them. And he wouldn't kill them. And sometimes I'm sure he would kill them too. And uh, but you know what? He's no better, no worse than any other government in the world exactly. who treats the indigenous people that way. You know, we're no better. He was no better. Yeah, he was just thing. worse. Oh. We were no better, but he was just worse. But um, that's a whole other topic another, too. A whole other topic would be that also the fact that there's never been a good people, like, a, a good culture, a, a good good culture, because. Think about it, like even the indigenous people. What about the How do we know that they didn't kill the people? The indigenous people did the same thing. They 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 invaded other tribes. Watch the poop. Watch the poop. Back okay, up, back I'm, up, back up. There's a the old okay. I see it. Ah, uh, some dumb people don't pick up their damn crap here. You know? People walk their damn That's dogs and don't pick up the poop. Yeah. Morning. It's a runner. Obviously something that I would never want to do. But um No, because it's like yeah, exactly, because it's just like, hey, it's, they, they can be like, oh, we've had this land for hundreds of years. Yeah. But then the, the other people be like, well, they stole that land for well, like thousands of years ago. Well, you know, all indigenous people do that because even the Hawaiians, they went from island to island, King Hamalamala or whatever. Exactly. You know, he went and made Hawaii one tribe, you know, with a bunch of tribes. And didn't, that was not a peaceable thing. It was not peaceable. And that was not peaceable. So, so I guess what I'm trying to say is like, yeah, we were... People were the indigenous people were treated bad by the American people, but it's not it's not the first culture that's ever done that to anybody. Exactly. It's just something that's done. Mm -hmm. I mean, you, you know, you have a baseball and I want and I have a bat. Exactly. Who's are you? Are you? You're gonna want to get my bat. And I'm gonna want to get your baseball. You're gonna want to give it to me, and I don't want to give it to you. So Someone it's got to be somebody's got to somebody give to up. Lose. Somebody has to, and that's because that's the only way the game's gonna be played. Exactly. There's only so much space on Earth. Even if you think. We can live together in harmony. We can't. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's, if it's I'm starving and, and you're over there, like, you've got, like, two loaves of bread and, and my family's starving, or maybe because I want to be um, selfish and maybe I have one and you have two and I want half of yours and you don't want to give it to me, exactly. well, I'm going to take it. Exactly. Because that's, that's the American way. That's the world's way, not, not just well, the American way. world, too, you know? Because, like... Well, you can Bible, do that about religion, know, too. Like, in the Bible, think about it, they were for themselves, too. It's a lot of... Com yeah. Other tribes from them were for themselves. Oh yeah, of course. And that's you know? why God punished the, the people. 
That's a whole different topic too, boy. Oh, I know, oh, I, I know. know. I know, but it's like, that's, but then, it's, it's, we're lucky that we don't get punished anymore. Who said we're not getting punished? I know, right? I think we're getting punished right now. You think so? Yeah, because look at the COVID, people out of work, yeah, you know, true. all over the world. Yeah, it's true. Um, it's not even half done, man. And then you got all these Korean, like you got that guy, what's his name, Su Jod Head or whatever yeah. from Korea, uh -huh. the crazy man. And you got all these crazy people and you got all these, um, the his, the Islam, you know, and yeah. you got all these, um, hin not not Hindus and Buddhists. They're, they're cool, but they fight amongst themselves, okay, because they have nothing better to do. You know, yeah. one guy's got a bigger head rag than the other guy and he gets all jealous and everything. And, you know, it's a fight, fight on, you know what I mean? Uh -huh. And oh, same thing with the Protestants and the Catholics, you mm -hmm. know. But um, well, yeah, yeah. Hey, we keep our stuff up, right? That's, you know what, that's what we say here. But anyway, uh -huh. we've been. Um, hope you liked this little vlog we did because uh -huh. it was pretty off the cuff today. Uh -huh. Jam packed. Jam packed. So um, you know what we say. Say adios, Gato. Adios, Gato.